Alrighty, a couple topics at hand. Uh, first off, I have used the Prosys Track Cleaner throughout the track to kind of did it two more times just to get things really clean. On a previous video, I had my Portram running around very nicely and got my Amtrak uh, engine and uh, lighted passenger car. Yeah, the passenger cars are still blinking a little bit, but for, for, for the most part, it's running pretty well. I've got the power supply to less than a third, so this is pretty reliable. I'm not having to double up the engine, so I'm liking how reliable everything is running right now. Now, I have been having a little bit of trouble with my uh, Union Pacific FEF uh, 839, or 838, excuse me. But uh, that, that'll be dealt with, and I think, in a different manner. Uh, my next steps, when I got everything running reliably, is I have identified the high spots and I am planning on just really just sanding everything down to get everything really flat so that we have some good operation. Make sure I use my can of air to get all the plaster dust out of, uh, out of the system here. So it's, it's making some nice progress. Um, after I do the sanding, I, I am planning on verifying it with sections of the track and I'm planning on setting up the whole track. Um, I'm also planning on starting the 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 undercoat the staining of the plaster uh, white plaster does not look very realistic for any kind of scenery i'm hoping that's what i'm hoping now i'm hoping that as i put in the the kind of the texture to the plaster these high spots and low spots and splatters are going to become less noticeable or perhaps um the 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 um the the pigments will kind of make it look I don't know, more real. I think some of these sharp edges I'm going to need to sand down. But, um, yeah, I'm going to see if I, how the, the pigmenting goes there. and I'm hoping it's going to look a lot better. Alrighty. Thank you very much, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.